whether you're doing article marketing, pay-per-click marketing, video marketing, search engine optimization, if you're online, you know that what everything revolves around is keywords. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they get started in a home business and they understand that the internet and there's all that the internet's out there and there's this opportunity for all this exposure. One of the biggest mistakes when they first have that thought is they say, well, I'm in this business, man, there's all these people out there that could be interested in what I have to offer. And what they typically do is they say, well, what would those people search for? Well, I'm in a network marketing business, network marketing. That's a good keyword. Network marketing business. That's a good keyword. Network marketing opportunity. MLM, multi-level marketing, home business, work from home. Well, you get my drift. Well, th the problem with this is it's incredibly lazy. It's the wrong way to do it. It's a big mistake. And because it's lazy, it's what everyone does. And because it's what everyone does, there's tons of competition. So what I want to show you real quick is three quick ways where you can find keywords that are extremely targeted, get lots of traffic, and there is little competition. So where I am right now is Google. As you can see, I just did a quick search for MLM. Right, hiding right under your nose is a little website called MLM Rankings. And this site is cool because what it basically does is it ranks all of the top network marketing companies based on some sort of popularity. Now, all that's well and good, but what I want you to realize is each of these is a keyword, okay? Let's see if we can kind of get a, lo a larger view. You see, each of these is a keyword. Well, remember, we went to this little tool, and I will pull it up right now. And let's go back to our MLM opportunities. Let's go to this thing. I've never heard, heard of it. Fuller Brush. And we go to the little Google, Google keyword tool. And we find it right over here for free. We click it. We pop in our keyword. We see how much traffic it gets. And how much competition there is. And voila, we find some keywords. Well, if this is a network marketing company, Here's a couple keywords that don't get a ton of competition, don't have a ton of competition, I'm sorry, and uh, get significant volume. These are keywords you could use for article marketing, video marketing, pay-per-click marketing. So that's way number one. You go to websites like that, and then you come back to the Google Keyword Tool. Way number two is you go over to a website called Alexa. And Alexa is a website, if you're not familiar with it, that ranks all of the top websites on the internet by how much traffic they get. Well, what a lot of people don't know is up here at the top, there's this little link called directory. If you click it, you can check out what's going on online. And you can browse by subdirectory. Well, let's go to business. As you can probably guess, I've done that. You, you can probably guess I've done this before. We click on opportunities, and then we click on network marketing (MLM). Hmm, these may be related keywords. Then we go over here to the right, and what we see is Alexa ranks all of the top network marketing companies, top websites based on how much traffic they get, and there's 200 and some of them. Maybe there's, there's places to find keywords and then go back to the keyword tool here too. Maybe. Now there's one more place I want you to look that I don't think many people look. See, all across the net, there are these websites, and this one's called programreview.com. I don't necessarily like these sites except for this reason. What these sites do is they go and they supposedly review opportunities places to get traffic, basically everything that a person in a home business would search for. And they write all these articles based on keywords. What do you think these are? Each of these articles is a keyword. So here sitting right in front of you is a list of keywords that you can take back to the Google Keyword Tool. Any website that you come across that's like this, always be thinking in the top of your mind, are there keywords here? that I can go back to that keyword tool with Google 
and uh, find opportunities that don't have a ton of competition. So that's three quick ways to find keywords that don't have a ton of competition and you'll be able to get high rankings, pay-per-click traffic, videos that are get watched, articles get, that'll get read, and optimize your own websites around. So use this strategy and always keep your eyes open.